Okay, cool. So we are back. I've just finished. Um, we finished third in the Vanarama. And as I said, I would do a uh, do a video for the uh, the knockout stages. So um, let's show you the league table. We finished third, which is not bad. Um, I'll take you briefly briefly through the schedule, which is a little. I've, I've been quite frustrated of late, so I think we left it. Uh, after maybe the Gateshead game, we played Dagenham and Redbridge and won comprehensively. We played Southport, and what a game that was! But you'll see, then they finished 19th. There's no way it should have been as, as testing as what it was, but nevertheless, um, it was such a game. I absolutely went mad at the players because I just wasn't happy. Um, it should, no way it should it have really have been 4-3 really but blame it on what you like but we got out with the win um the only other thing to report really is that i had to buy a keeper because our main keeper matt's morch got injured and was out for bloody ages uh right before the title running so fortunately there was, there was about a week left on the transfer window and I, I'd skated, sco uh, scouted this guy um, a while back. Um, so I, p I picked him up for like 1K, which was good. I was going to, was, he wasn't actually under contract at Chelmsford. So I was going to snap him up. But I saw that we would have paid 8K, 8,000 um, compensation. So I thought I'd go in for a bid. I went in for a cheeky £1,000 bid. And they accepted. And I snapped him up. Apparently he doesn't like his training, which, okay, so I might just take that additional focus off, maybe put it to passing or something, I don't know, but see how we go on from there. So these are the run of results after that. Uh, this was the start of the testing time, and I'll be honest with you, all I wanted to do was not lose to these lot. So there I played my ultra defensive uh, tactic. Uh, I think I'll probably I played this tactic here um, and just made sure that they didn't beat us. It was stressful. Maybe I could have been a bit more adventurous looking back. I don't know. To be honest, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference because, you know, we finished third. It's probably the best we could have hoped for. We were actually only one point behind um, Mansfield. Not Tranmere. Mansfield ran away with it. But we were never going to get that auto promotion. So we've drawn Dover. Um, and that's, that's what we're going to go for. The only other thing to mention, as you can see, we drew all of them. We then played Aldershot. Um, and we got a decent victory out of them. And I think that pretty much guaranteed that we would, um, or all but guaranteed that we were going to uh, be in the playoffs. We played Morecambe the week after. And because we were at home, I thought, right, I'll, I'll go to the 4-4-2 uh, standard with Ellaby and Hazeldine up front. <laughs> and we got absolutely walloped. And I was fuming. So, because of that, we went to Geisley. I didn't change anything. I kept it 4-4-2 because there's something like 20 seconds. They were 20 seconds. There you go. They finished the bottom of the league. Um, so, it was never... I, I was annoyed that we conceded two. Um, but, nevertheless, that's that. And then Sutton United, I played 4-4-2 again. I think I just showed you because our, our fixture has already stayed as that. And it was a nil-nil draw. Not much to really describe there. It was a bit of a dead rubber game. It wouldn't have mattered if we would have won or lost. I think maybe morale might have suffered a bit. So that's where we are. The only other things to mention. Um, I've brought in this Karnak from our reserves, actually. Because a guard got injured. And he did all right. 
so I kept him in. Um, but now we're coming into a rub of games that absolutely matter. I might start just bring back a guard as a starter. I've kept Fitzsimmons in goal even though Matt Smorch is free again because he is just that bit better if you compare the two. He is just that bit more all-rounded in the physical sense. Maybe not quite as quick, but you'll see that he is probably the better keeper out of the two. It's not a lot in it. But maybe because of his physical stats, you could say he is better. So I'm going to keep with Fitzsimmons in goal. And there was an injury to... Where is he? Cassie and Thomas, which is bloody frustrating. So he's not going to play anymore this season. But he's done well. He's going to be missed. So we're going to have to play Lewis, which is a good bit of experience in that central midfield place. I haven't got anything against that. Sarpong is back from injury. He was there. I don't know if you remember, he broke his leg. So he's back. So that's good. Um, and I'm trying to sort of put him in gently, which is why you can see I've, I've kept him available for the reserves, but our match is today now. So he's going to start on the bench. And I've taken out Jack Powell and started Ferdinand purely because it says Jack Powell doesn't enjoy big matches. <laughs> well, this is a big match. Um, and it's actually Dover away. So I'm going to go for that ultra defensive again. Which leaves us with a bit of a problem because Sarpong's not fit enough really to start. He doesn't enjoy big match. I've got a real problem of, of a team who don't enjoy big matches. Because he doesn't. I know our left back doesn't. Doesn't enjoy big The whole team don't enjoy big matches. And that's a big problem. For that, we're going to go in with 4-4-2. This could really come back to haunt us. It really, really could. We're going to have to go for it. And of course, that was the other thing I wanted to mention. Aidan Austin decided to get injured in training literally um, the other day. So we, we have to have Williams at, at left wing, which isn't the end of the world. He did, uh, did well for us last season. He's barely played this season. Let me just check my reserves to see. Yeah. Let's quit that lad, isn't it? Let's go with Williams. It'd be really, really bad timing to start out some sort of test or experiment. So will it let me start with Aidan Austin on the bench? Another injury. I've got to look at my training because everyone's complaint. Well, not everyone, but there's a lot of complaints about it. And in actual fact, there's becoming a lot of injuries now. So I kind of feel like down the wings, we're kind of a bit nullified. I'm playing him basically out of position. He's not comfortable there, which is why only the two star rating there. Billy Holmes... It's just not developing and it's actually quite frustrating. Probably doesn't enjoy big games. I oh, know. No. Um, I might bring in Winfield actually, which is another change just because he's that bit better. Doesn't enjoy big matches for goodness sake. What is up? With... Right. We'll keep Holmes in even though he's not improving. And we'll go with that. Alibi and Hayes will die up front. Williams on the left. Ferdinand in that defensive position. Stuart Lewis in the deep line playmaker position. A guard on right wing. Connors at left back. Taylor and Holmes in the middle. 
Connor York and Ross Fitzsimmons. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Luke Williams is struggling to see out the match. Now they're playing 4-4-2 and so are we. So this is pound for pound. And if I go back to the scouting. I didn't think so. I didn't get a... Um, I didn't get a report. So the captain's that Magri guy. I remember playing Dover before, actually. Who's their top scorer? Is that... Okay, and they have two main assists, which is Kieran, Jarley and Moses Emmanuel. So... So daft. We must have... Okay. So they obviously score a lot down their left hand side. So what I'm going to do, let's get everyone going. Seeing as they score a lot down that left hand side, I'm actually going to have a look at the, uh, the right hand side. And I'm going to say to our right back, who's actually a, a centre back in uh, by description, and instead of sitting narrow, narrower, I'm going to say, stay wider. And I'm going to say, closing down more. Because on the opposition instructions, that Moses Emmanuel, I'm going to say, closing down. And his preferred foot's on the right. Now that's interesting. I'm not going to say show him onto weaker foot. Or should I? Because um, it, in theory, means he can get better crosses in. I've got a feeling he's probably... Okay, I'm going to say show on to weaker foot anyway, because it's less ability. And let's go. Let's go, team. LB win it. Mm. Okay. They're getting the majority of the play so far. Okay, no booking. Mm. Ferdinand's on a booking already, which doesn't bode well. But considering we're away from home, it isn't going too badly. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to try something. Just literally swap Hazel Dine and Alibi over, as in in terms of sides. Target man support. Transport. Oof. Yeah, they're starting to get a bit more of the game, aren't they? Okay. I don't think we've played very well at all. So let's... Uh, uh, who's motivated and stressed? Ben Taylor and Jack Connors. So they're both defenders. So I'll say... 
I've got faith in you. Right, okay. Now look at that. Billy Holmes is motivated and inspired, so that's better. So we're doing well on him, and I think it's because Moses Emmanuel, the only stat is how much he's run. He's made a lot, they've all made a lot of interceptions. So our full backs have got a poor pass completion ratio. So let's tell them shorter passing. Keep hold of the ball. Hopefully that should assist on that. Dover seems to be quite happy to come down the middle. Whereas we're not getting much of the ball. So I think maybe having that extra man in midfield might be a good idea. And especially as he's on a booking, and I can see him getting sent off. So, and we are away from home, to be fair. Let's try this now. I don't want any red cards. Maybe I'll leave it, a little, leave them on for a little bit. We may be asking a lot of. Neither of them like big games anyway. Um, let's do that. And then Sarpon can come on in the second half, just because he's not fully fit yet. And that sharpness 72%. So. Um, and Aiden Austin just isn't one enough. Right, start second half like that. We'll see if we can get them on the wings. Go on, win that third end. Go on, Williams. Hazel died on his own. Oh, Hazel died on his own. Oh, that would have been good. Right. I'm going to bring on Sarpon for Ferdinand so we don't get reduced to 10 men. But that looks to have made a difference with that extra man at the, in the midfield, considering they're like going through the middle, judging by their heat map. Don't piss about with it. It's supposed to be playing. <sighs> Win that header. Well done. Lewis. Oh no. Oh. We're supposed to be hitting them on the break. Right. No one's playing particularly well. I guess at least we're away from home. I can't put Aiden Austin on because if he gets injured again. And to be fair, Williams isn't doing too bad either. Don't really have any options, that's the thing. Let's put Karna on for a card. Oh. Tell you what. Yeah, keep Austin and keep the two wingers fresh for the second leg. Two main wingers, that is, you know, a guard and uh, Austin, because at least that gives Austin time to recover, protects him from any potential injuries. Go on, Williams, Hazeldine. Oh, a little bit of magic, go on. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, he did it all, didn't he? Apart from the finish. Mm -hmm.
Okay. I think that's a good first leg, personally. Um, I think it was a good result. I think maybe we could have won it. Um, but it's a fairly easy, even game. Okay. Nil nil it is. And over to the second leg. Oh, brilliant. I would like to open contract talks, isn't it? Oh, because of Alibi's recent form. He was already bloody... His existing deal isn't bad. 300 appearance fee. 1.5 per week. That's not a bad deal to begin with. What does he want now? Oh, my giddy aunt. He's holding us to ransom. How much longer has he got on his contract? He's got another year. So even if talks break down, right, let's keep him sweet. So the timing of this is all wrong for a kickoff. Oh, yeah, you want your agent fee, do you? Do you know what? No. Actually. I'm sorry, this is nonsense. It's madness before a second leg that he's coming in asking for absolutely the world. So let's have a look. He was on 300 appearance. So 400 appearance. Um, gold bonus of 230. Okay. At least gold bonuses I don't mind so much because I've got to score to do it. And if you score goals, you win games. Invariably. Unused substitute fee. Right. Team of the year bonus. 4.6. Okay, we'll give him four. Top goal scorer. I'm not too worried about that because it won't happen. Promotion wage rise is a standard 25%. Yearly wage rise. After all that, you can do one. Seasonal landmark goal bonus. 15 goals. And he expects £9,000. That one can be forgotten about. Minimum fee release clause. Oh, the agents love this, don't they? Let me put in something a bit. Right. Suggest them terms. Right. Not them. Absolutely holding the club to ransom. Unused substitute fee. All right. We'll leave that in. Because to be honest, we use him pretty much every game anyway, so that's not really. Um, it's a standard 20, 25, and the yearly wage rise is completely out of the question. Landmark goal bonus. Okay, if you want a landmark goal bonus, you'll have to score 30, and then we'll gladly give you the 8,000. And then the minimum fee release clause is, of course, your 5 mil. How's that? Right. Don't know why that shot up all of a sudden. Right. Let's put 2.5. No one will come in with that for him anyway. Stick to the 400 appearance fee then. I'll relent on that. Unused substitute fee. That's still 25. That's still going. That is still 30 goals if you want that much. And that will stay at 2.5. Nearly there. That one's there. That one's going. Seasonal landmark. All right, 25. How many has he scored, actually, before we got on that? Oh, I scored 27. Surely that can't count for this. This season, surely it starts next season. And then minimum fee release. Keep it five, see what happens. Yearly wage rise. Oh, look. They've put a, a limit at 300k. 
Look at that. It shouldn't be allowed to do that. It really shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's up to me to offer. Right, well, if you're going to do that, then you can forget that. It's non-negotiable. If you want to do that, forget about your landmark gold bonus. Deal works for us. Give you deal works for us. Right, okay. And Shabazz. Well, well done, Shabazz, for viewing that game. Not impressed with that. Not impressed. I wonder what happens in the other play off the Morecambe Tranmere. I'm hoping Tranmere. Oof, the thing is, Morecambe absolutely did us. Yeah, Tranmere. Two late goals. Look at all the late drama on that. So. Dover. Okay. I'm surprised by that stat that they get a fairly balanced amount of goals, to be honest. I'm going to go with defensive positioning because I am going to play a slightly more attacking lineup. Good. Cassie and Thomas might be back for this game. And Aidan Austin as well. Let's have a look. Aidan Austin's still apparently injured. About a week on from his uh, from that. So his overall physical condition has not improved one bit. Oh, out for about a day. How Damn, how unfortunate. Just that one day, you know. Kessie and Thomas is still out. I don't understand. It's like these players have not improved. Oh, wait, he was out for ages. Okay. It's like this week has not passed. How many days in between? It was only three days. I thought it would be a week, to be fair. Um... Stuart Lewis is apparently knackered, so that's good. Central midfielder there, knackered. Hmm. This gives us a big problem. Do I call on Billy Clifford? There's no point in having Lewis playing when he's at 85%. He's not going to turn up. But we know that Billy Clifford is not in my good books. In fact, I didn't expect him to play another game for the club again. Doesn't enjoy big matches. Inconsistent. Unhappy with the trial. Doesn't enjoy big matches, funnily enough. I was a lot more confident before I saw that. We've got no choice. So we're going to go 4 4 2. I think we have to at home if we're expecting. Let's not forget we're looking to get promoted. And if we get promoted, um, which is a big if, if we get promoted, then um, the next issue we've got is that we're going to be playing teams like this every week. So, no guts, no glory. Let's see what happens. Playing 4 for 2. Proceed to match. Yes. Okay. Hmm. 
and feel passionate with these guys. I want you to control the midfield. I just feel that Billy Clifford could be a bit of a mistake. The other thing I didn't do was the opposition instructions. But let's play our game. We're at home. Let them worry about us. Oh, for goodness sake. He scored a weldy from outside the box. Brilliant. Clifford is booked. Thanks. Well done. You watch. You'll get himself sent off. There you go. Two central midfielders immediately booked. That's good. And nothing has happened in the game apart from that world world class strike from outside the box. Nothing's happening. Nothing. There's the half time whistle. Right, so we haven't turned up. So I'm going to tell him that. Okay. I am going to go back to counter because it's necessary. We're a little bit snookered because of that bloody injury and the fact that Stuart Lewis couldn't couldn't recover for whatever reason. So. How is Billy Clifford playing? He's not actually playing that bad. Ferdinand's not playing well. So we'll leave Clifford on because he's the only really creative player that we've got. I really sharp on can play there. Right, here's what we do. Um, we replace the two central midfielders. Or at least we replace Clifford with Sarpong. Ferdinand and Sarpong play together. There's no point in going into a counter-attacking situation just yet. <laughs> Great pun up the middle there. Nothing's happening, guys. We're supposed to be chasing the game. Pal on for Ferdinand now. Come on. Oh, why is it not showing the. Well, that'll do. Result. Why wasn't it showing a. Oh, whoops. Right. Let, let's just go back and see what happened there. I'm a bit excited that we're in the middle of an... Oh, of course, it doesn't... I don't know why it does that, but there we go. Well, there's no point, is there, in showing me the highlights? Right. Right. Now it's completely screwed. Right. Alibi's injured. Hazel dying. Oh. Right, come on. Sorry about the technical difficulties there. But that substitution in the middle seems to have really... Now Jack Powell's got booked. We're the only team that seems to be picking up bookings in this game, or what? Uh, 
Alibi's injured. Right. Let's go counter attack then. Now we need to think about this very carefully. Can Karnak play in the middle? No. Aha, but can a guard? Yes, he can. Just. So it's a little bit makeshift this, but we're going to go like this. And it is makeshift, I get it, but at least a guard. Can do the carrying and deep lying midfield, and deep lying playmaker. Okay, we can go one of two ways. The guard tripped him, did he? Now I can't even work out if this is going to be showing me highlights or not. Right. Concentrate. Oh, for goodness sake. Really? Well, thanks. Thanks for injuring all my players. Booking them all. I'm not going to be too hard on them. At the beginning of the season, I would have taken, you know, this. It's always hard to accept. I just feel, oh yeah, James Allaby. If we just offered him a play through injury. Play what through injury? We just got knocked out. Leave to physio. Play through injury. What have we got? The community shield coming up. Well, anyway. There you go. It's disappointing. Um, I saw signs of it um, earlier on. Don't know why it won't let me scroll further. Okay, I saw all around here the performances weren't great. I mean, that Morecambe game sums it up. Um, but it's disappointing to lose out to Dover. Um, but what more can you say over and out until next season when I I guess probably what I will do is take a look at my squad I might do a quick video on what I'm going to look to improve I'm just a bit dejected at the moment so I'm going to call it a day on this one um, but look to what, what we need to strengthen next season to come back there are players that aren't going to renew. There are players that are going to go. I still think, I mean, look, whatever way you look at it, we finished third, having just reached promotion previously. So we'll come back stronger next season. Um, but I really, really was hoping that we could somehow get get through that and, you know, make it two promotions on the bounce. I need to look at the training. I need to look at who we're going to bring in. So it's not much else to say. I'm absolutely gutted by that last minute winner. Absolutely gutted. Thanks. Thanks for watching.